Today on our first official Mona Makes, I will be teaching you my weekly DIY project. And we are going to learn how to make traditional pierogies. Yes, I'm so excited. Welcome everyone. So I'd just like to start on telling you about the ingredients and how to make them. So you want to start off with your dough first. So you take five cups of flour, you take a quarter cup of oil, and two cups of water. You mix it in and to create your dough. Now once you've created your dough, put it in the container and seal it shut and let it sit for an hour. It's very important to let it sit and rest for one hour. You also wanna make your filling. Take four to five pounds of your favorite potatoes, peel them, wash them, and cut them up. Boil them, and once they are boiled, you wanna add your favorite cheddar. I suggest about 400 grams of your favorite cheddar cheese. You wanna mix it up and make sure it is ready to go. I've let my dough sit for an hour. My potato cheddar filling is ready to go, and now it's time to roll out the dough and create some pierogies. So the first important part about rolling out your dough is making, that your, making sure your surface has enough flour to go around. Yes, honey, get that flour. The more, the better. You just wanna mix it around your table and make sure there is enough to go around. I'm going to push some to the side and save some for later. Perfect, so I have my dough that has been resting for an hour and I'm going to take it out and roll them dough. Here we go. Got my trusty roller. Roll it out. So you want to roll it out as flat as you can, not too flat. You don't want to be able to see through it, um, but you want it nice and thin so you don't have too much dough in your pierogies. Yes, I love that and that looks amazing. It is ready for cutting. Now, make sure you get a circle cookie cutter. You can use a lid, a jar, a cup, whatever you want. Just make sure it's about a circular size like this. And you just wanna press it into the dough and pull out your perfect circle. Now, this is gonna take a while because we got lots of dough, so bear with me, everyone. And uh, let's cut out some dough, yes! <laughs> Now that you've rolled out all your dough and you've cut them into perfect little circles, it's time to stuff them dough and fold them into pierogies. I have my potato cheddar insides ready to go. Let me get a little up close and personal and teach you how to roll them properly. So you take your dough, they're in a perfect little circle here, and then you want to take a piece of inside filling. You want to Form it into the size of a ping pong ball. That's like the perfect circle for your dough. And you take your dough, you put it right in the center here, and you want to fold your dough up and over and give a little pinch in the center. Now the important thing is to make sure that your insides are stuffed inside and not poking through. If they are poking through, once you throw them in the boiling water, they will open up and peel and you do not want that. So just make sure both sides are nice and pinched together and you have your perfect pierogi. Now this batch, batch makes a few dozen, so bear with me, we got some folding to do. Here we go. <laughs> if you don't want to cook and boil all your pierogies at once, don't worry, just throw them in a plastic Ziploc bag and you can freeze them. They freeze very nicely. If you also have extra leftover insides, so the potato cheddar insides, you can freeze that as well. Just be careful when you unthaw it. Sometimes they can get a little bit watery. Just add some more flour to it and you should be good to go. You can also put kind of whatever you want into pierogies. Um, you can put blueberries or cherries. Pierogies make a very nice dessert. 
or you can put onions, bacon, whatever you'd like. You can take your pierogies and you can freeze them for later or put them in boiling water and make sure they are cooked once they rise to the surface. My favorite pierogies are served with dairy-free sour cream, bacon, and caramelized onions. They are amazing and make the best treat. Definitely check out this recipe. It is the one you do not want to miss. Love to all my Ukrainian and Polish people out there. We gotta represent. And uh, here Mona makes some delicious pierogies. There you go, everyone. See you next week with another amazing Mona Makes. Bye. <laughs>